Sea of Galilee, a vast and beautiful body of water in Israel, and it's at the head of the Jordan River. It can be an expert fisherman's dream, but for one man, it would be the setting for the most disappointing catch ever. His name was Peter, and obviously he was taking the failures of the morning really hard. I mean, he was probably hanging his head really low, trudging his feet, he's probably even crying a little bit, but I guess we never know. But, hey, well, actually, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Uh, how could you possibly be feeling good right now? You just had the disappointingliest catch ever. The what? I, is that even a word? Peter obviously had a small vocabulary if he failed to recognize disappointingliest as a word. But beyond a teensy vocabulary, he was clearly confused about the upsetting events of the morning. What are you doing? I'm, I'm narrator. I mean, what do you think I'm doing? I'm, I'm narrating. The server confusion was even worse than previously thought. Okay, stop. Stop narrating for a second. I'm not upset. I'm feeling great. Peter believed that he was feeling great, when in fact, he was quite... No! I am feeling great! Okay, let me explain. It all started last night when James, John, and I, along with some of the expert fishermen crew, we came out to fish on the sea. Peter and his crew went out into the boat, and James, John, and their crew went out in theirs. They braved the fighting darkness and set out on the Sea of Galilee in hopes of catching more fish. Yeah, okay, like what I said. Anyways, so we're out the whole night fishing. It was cold. The weather was brutal. We were tired. Sleep desperately escaped them. We're getting hungry. And the echo of their growling stomachs rang through their ears as a bitter reminder of the coast cost of being a fisherman. Echo, 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 echo. Wow, you're good. I know. Right? Anyways, <laughs> we thought for sure the fishing would pick up as the night went on, but we were wrong. Finally, we just gave up. We moved back to the shore without a single fish in either of our boats. But you know the worst part of the night that is like this? Everyone was the most disappointed that they would have their fish sandwiches for breakfast. Nope. Everyone was the most disappointed that they would have to eat frozen fish sticks for dinner. <laughs> no. The worst part about a night like this, after you come in all tired and disappointed, you still have to clean your tools and fix your nets one more time. Ugh. That was my next guess, but you know, I'm sure it was. was. I'm sure it was. So, there we were, cleaning our gear, and all of a sudden, Jesus walks over to us. He climbs right inside of our boat and asks us to row out to the, from the shore. Peter politely told Jesus no and returned to cleaning the gear. No! That's not what happened! I said yes, and we took him out into the boat. We got a little bit from the shore, and he began to teach the people. It was amazing! And then you'll never guess what happened next. Peter proceeded to lead everyone in a game of Simon Says. You see what I did there? Yeah, I get it. Because my full name is Simon Peter. Ha ha ha, fun. That's nice. No, yeah. actually, Jesus leaned over to me and whispered, go out a little bit deeper and let's put the nets down to catch some fish. At first I thought, man, dude, you're just joking. I mean, come on, I'm a fisherman. I'm an expert, I've been doing this my whole life. We were just out all last night, had a bad night, didn't catch anything. You mean you, your bad night and you had the most disappointingliest catch? No, it doesn't, doesn't mean I'm going to go back immediately and try again. It's just silly. But there was something about what he said. I know, I knew it was crazy. And I also could tell that there was something different about this man. I should listen to him and what he said. So I said, Master, we've gone to work all night and we haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I'll let down my nets. So I cast my nets overboard. And came up just as empty-handed as before, making it his second most disappointingly as catch of the day. Oh my, that's such a bummer. No, no, not at all. I cast my nets and boom, the fish went nuts. My nets were beginning to break. There were so many fish, never seen anything like it. James and John had to come out in another boat just to help. I mean, there were so many fish, we lifted both boats full. It was a miracle. Uh, wow. I'm... Speechless? Yeah, so was I. 
I bowed down to the feet of Jesus because I knew he was more than just a teacher. He was the one who God had promised would come. He was Lord. Peter then humbled himself and asked Jesus to join his fishing crew as chief fish finder. <laughs> no, actually, he asked me to follow him. And so I just walked away from it all. The fish, the business, everything. I'm training in my fishingness to follow, De to follow Jesus. Best decision, hands down, that I have ever made. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. You're giving it all up? I mean, but what about tomorrow when you have to go out and catch more fish? Well, God really provided for me, day by day. I'm sure I can trust Him with tomorrow. Oh, I gotta head out, you know? See, James and John, we've decided to come along too. We've got a few more people Jesus wants to find. I guess now we're fishing for people instead of fishing for fish. See you guys later. As the sun set on the Sea of Galilee, there were two less fishing boats venturing out to sea. Peter, James, and John traded in the life of fishermen to accept Jesus' invitation, an invitation to have faith and to follow him. See you next time on the most disappointingly as catch ever.